you're welcome uh, to uh, Walk on Wall Street. And uh, stocks are uh, weaker um, on Wall Street. Um, now, I want to draw your attention to um, some technical analysis. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, so S&P trades uh, down. Um, at 3900 there um let me see if i can find um the uh update from yesterday from uh from uh city i think it was their techie guys uh got a note out on s p um let me see if i can find it for you um the s p trades down there i think really you're looking at some key support uh, about to be tested potentially um and that's going to be that's really going to be coming into to play uh, around this sort of region here around 38.85 uh, our low from the 10th of feb um need to be careful of that one obviously going back out is this is one way street but um if we draw a fib uh we've got a fib here uh, da, 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 there we go there we go boom you see we're testing this region here now around that that 23 percent retrace um so keep an eye out on that one 38.97 uh one to watch um it's going to be uh it's going to be interesting i think because we've got some market sort of forces at work here that are problematic you've got 10-year yields moving up um you've got um uh tesla looking a bit shaky i think there's some options market activity in tesla which you need to be careful of because the put is now favoring puts i.e sellers so the options market is now starting to point to a big risk in tesla shares um so back to the s p anyway struggling to hold this move uh, above the top of our 3900 3930 measured triangle objective they say um here we go 13-day exponential moving average sits at 38.90, a break below here. So 38.90 here. So we're in this region here, this, this sort of region here, it's on the low, it's here, it sits around this region. So 38.90, anything from probably uh, 38.85 up to 38.97 is really the region. Um, and that would signal a, a bearish reversal week, um, confirming an, uh, that we've seen an exhaustion point for the rally is what they're saying. So let's look at the week uh, uh, here. So yeah, you get here, if you start closing below your last week's lows, then you're potentially in trouble. So you saw this outside candle here, this bullish candle here, but then here, starting to point towards exhaustion. So keep your eyes open on that one. Um, elsewhere, we've got the pound moving up against the dollar. It's been solid progress for the pound. Um, really kicked on at about eight this morning and has been moving higher ever since. It's run into resistance up here at 139.90, just close to 140. It looks like it's going to break it. Uh, it's a question of when, not if, I, I believe. Um, gold is struggling, it remains anchored at 1780. Um, and uh, Nat Gas just continues. Uh, it's well, it had been continuing its rally over the last few days and then it's just come off slightly today. Um, and then uh, crypto Bitcoin holds at 51.70.50 there, uh, broken 52 earlier um, on that one there. And let's look at Tesla. Um, Tesla shares really just starting to look like perhaps the split there, starting to look like a potential double top or hen shoulders type pattern there in Tesla. Um, if we go to four hours. Um, you can see where we're where we're at now. You've got the neckline here, um, trading sort of about here. And let's actually draw it properly. Um, here's your neckline. There we go. On a hen shoulders, double top, triple top, whatever you want to call it. Um, there. Um, be careful. That's looking like it's a problem. You've also got fund managers maybe raising questions about the Bitcoin investment. You've also got um, uh, as I say, concerns about in the options market that there's real signs that uh, the puts are starting to uh, gain traction and favours the sellers. So anyway, that's it for me for the moment. We'll have more for you uh, another time.